morning everyone just got uh, done doing my laps for the morning it is almost 5 30 it's still really cold and I did it just did a video which may or may not post in this order but I just did a video on are you ready if it's cold do you need a shelter you need heat can you can you deal with that right away and uh so it got me when i got back to the truck i uh i finished and i had a lot of time after that i did that video to keep circling and because it's just a circle i mean it's got some offshoots and some trails and stuff but i don't know it's squigglies but it's basically a loop so when i got done with that and I got back to the truck, or as I was doing that, I was thinking, what tools do I have right now in my pockets or in my pack that I, I could use to make a shelter and, you know, and start a fire or whatever I needed to do. So, and, and really I'm just going to go with... There, there are four things. Three of them are in my pack. One was in my pocket. And there's another, a duplicate in my pocket. But um, if you've watched any of my EDC videos, you know that I have some version of a Swiss Army knife or a multi-function knife in this case. Uh, this is from Outside Magazine. It's one of those um, give me knives. One of my friends gave me this one. But it's a multi-function knife. Got a knife, a screwdriver, corkscrew, pair of scissors. So I have that in my pack. Uh, and then I have another one in my pocket. I like that style knife. I'm comfortable with it. My kids like it. The one in my pocket is a Swiss Army knife. It's not doesn't have that many functions on it. But it's got several. Kind of just a basic. And then... Uh, and so I went, and then on my pack that I was carrying, on the outside of it, I carry this guy. And this is a SOG rescue, no, a SOG safety. And it's got the one hand opening, the lure lock. But the things that I like on it, it's got that bad boy there. And then the other side, it has a seat belt cutter. And then it's got a little window punch. And it's got a clip. So this is clipped on, not on the extreme outside, but flipped up inside with the strap on the outside. So it's, you got to want this out to get it. So that's there. And then, uh, and then the next thing that I have in there is a buck tool and it's, it's a multiplier or multi-tool and it flips out. Um, but it's got some pretty good pliers on it and it's got a knife blade that's easy to get to and a saw or serrated blades that are easy to get to. The other tools are kind of, I, I don't have fingernails, I bite my nails, so they're hard for me to get to, but it's got a couple kinds of screwdrivers and you know, it's basically three different size screwdrivers for Phillips and for Thompson, so. But that's in that pack and it's on the inside and it's in a pouch for tools. And then, uh, and then the other tool that I had in my pocket right here, which is just another multi-tool. This is a Leatherman Sidekick. I'm looking at it like I don't know that. It's a Leatherman Sidekick. And it, it opens just regular outfolding. But it's got spring-loaded pliers. Um, and and uh, <laughs> what I thought, I actually got this out and was fiddling with something. And... Uh, and I, another video that I watched from someone that I follow on YouTube was talking about his pliers yesterday. And I'm like, I like pliers. I want to share about my pliers too. I'm just <laughs> so good morning, Travis. You sparked my plier conversation. But this sidekick I got as a gift from my wife and kids a couple years ago. And while it's folded up, the thing that I like about it is that's how you can get to the knife blades you've got a straight blade and then and it locks 
and then on the other side, which I seldom, seldom use, and it's even got lint on it, is a saw blade. And then the other tools that it has in there, you know, a screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and an awl, and a little file, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It doesn't have a ton of them. A file, a, an awl, um, a can opener, of course. Ah, sorry about that. Alarm went off. It's time to get up. It's time to get up. The uh, so I really like this, and it's got a belt clip, and so that rides in my pocket quite a bit. But those tools are almost all they're either in my pocket or within reach because I carry the backpack I took out with me this morning is my work bag. So every time I, I leave my office, I throw it in the truck. Every time I go on a call, it's in the truck of any kind, medical calls, whatever, whatever I'm doing, that bag is with me or very, very near me. Um, within a couple hundred feet at most. And so I, I ha always have several tools and some specialty stuff in there as well. But those things are, are almost always available. And so I rely on them a lot. Now, what tools do you carry? Whether it's a little tiny knockback that fits on your keychain, a Swiss Army knife, or a multifunction tool, a goober tool. That's, I mean, not, not that I'm calling them that goobers carry them because I've got two of them right here. I mean, two that are always within reach. The buck tool and the Leatherman. Um, the buck tool, I don't remember how I got that. I probably got it out of a trade. Um, I've got a couple charades scattered about. I think that's the one in the door of the truck. Multi-tools are pretty useful. Uh, they're not major tools. They're not built for giant repairs or anything. But they're great if you need to cut some string, cut open a box, cut a branch. Uh, you know, everyday stuff. So... Thank you, everyday tools. Make sure they're available when you need them, whether it's to stay warm, uh, which is what's prompted this video is if I needed to stop and build a fire or a shelter, what was it? What did I have on me to do it? But most importantly, it's to always be ready because that's the goal. Let's be ready.